You guys are wrong about regular gift bags in Pet Simulator 99, and today I'm going to be opening up over 200,000 of them just to prove to you guys how good they are. Now, this has taken me quite some time to accumulate, but we have 200,000 of these regular gift bags. So it took many days of me grinding and finding these in the trading plaza to accumulate this many. As you can see, the current wrap value for this many gift bags is 660 million, which is absolutely insane. We've been doing some pretty big openings here on the channel. To pay your respects for the 660 million, make sure that you like the video and are subscribed because we do all kinds of stuff like this on the channel for Pet Simulator 99. And if you want to enter daily giveaways for this game, we give away tons of stuff over on my Discord. Link will be down in the description below for that. But let's get right into it because opening this many regular gift bags could take a few hours. And before any of you guys say anything in the comment section below, I did cop a shiny glizzy. Don't judge me for this. I just, it's, you know, it's, it's like probably the best part of the update was this glizzy hoverboard. So obviously I had to get a shiny version of it and it's only 50 million. That seems reasonable. But of course, besides that, we've cleared pretty much all of our items out of our inventory, all of our potions, all of our enchants, as well as all of our diamonds. So we're going to be able to see how much we profit from opening this many gift bags. Now, I've been seeing a ton of slander in the Pet Simulator 99 community talking about how bad the regular gift bags are now. And honestly, I think they are still pretty good. They give a lot of different items and a lot of raw diamonds back. And at the current price point of 3.3K, I think you can definitely make a profit. So obviously, we're going to test out that theory with an absolute absurd amount of these regular gift bags with 200,000 of these being opened we should pretty much get a good idea of what you should expect from opening these now obviously there's going to be some variants going in different directions depending on luck but with this many being opened we have a pretty big sample size to go over so this should be some pretty consistent result now let's quit the yapping and let's begin opening I'm going to go through about 50,000 of these and then check in with you guys to see what we have so far and I'll see you guys in a second with the results all right you guys so we're finally done with those first 50,000 of the gift bags opened and we're currently sitting at 127 million now I did the calculations and it seems like we're making around 2,500 diamonds straight back from just opening each gift bag so far so that is pretty decent that means we need to get at least 800 diamonds worth of stuff uh, from the gift bags to make up that loss now one thing I'll mention is that these gift bags are extremely good for the fruit so if you do need fruit mastery this is pretty good from what it seems like, you get an average of about four of these five types of fruit that you can use to upgrade uh, for the mastery. So that's pretty decent overall. Now, I kind of forgot how boring it was opening these things. There's not really anything special you can get. You just get a whole ton of these boring potions, boring enchants. So there's nothing really to go over. And I know most of you watching probably just want to see the end result. So we're just going to skip ahead. I'm going to open the rest of them to see if we can break a profit. And then I'm going to calculate how much value we got for opening each of them. So that you guys can know how much you should really be paying for them. And whether or not it's really worth it. Obviously, I started the video thinking that these were worth it. So we're going to see if that turns out to be true. There's nothing really special. 263 charm stones is not too good for opening 50,000 gift bags. So we're going to open the rest of them. I'll be back soon with the calculation. Now, I did forget to mention that it did take me about 30 minutes to open up 50,000. So it's going to take me a, another hour and a half to finish opening these. So if you did make it this far in the video, please consider giving it a like because it does help me out tremendously. Let's keep opening and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so it's been over two hours. I went and took a shower, walked my cat around the block, and it is finally done after all that time. We have 500 in 11 million so i did the math and this basically adds up to about 2555 diamonds per uh regular gift bag that we open what that basically means is that from just opening the gift bags we already get a big majority of our diamonds back from opening them 
And if we open up our calculator and type this number in and divide it by how much we are paying for these gift bags, which is currently 3,300 because that is the wrap value, we're basically gonna get a 77 and a half percent uh, ratio of the diamonds that we get back from buying it. The fact that you do get the majority of your diamonds back right away from opening them does make it very convenient for opening because then you don't have to go ahead and sell all of these stuff individually. But as you can see, we got 150,000 of almost every fruit except for the orange, but we're pretty darn close. Which according to my calculations means you get 3.75 fruit for every gift bag that you open, which is actually pretty decent. And these are super good for getting your fruit mastery all the way up. And besides all of this fruit that we got, we also did get over a thousand charm stones, which is pretty good. That is over 22 million diamonds worth of value, but pretty much everything else from the items is pretty bad. So we can look at the potions. We got quite a bit of these tier two potions, which actually aren't too bad because these are pretty good for getting your potions mastery up. And then of course we have all of the super cheap enchants, which are pretty bad, but they do really add up. And if you were to take your time to sell all of these individually, you could make quite a bit of diamonds. So remember the total wrap value of all of those gift bags was 660 million. So that means we are looking for 150 million value of the stuff that we put in this box. So I'm going to put all of that stuff in here and we're going to add it up and see if we made our money back. I'll see you guys in a second with those results. All right, so I think I got everything in there. We have all of our items, all the potions, enchants. That's pretty much everything, I believe. So I haven't looked at it quite yet. We're looking for a total of 150 million in wrap value. So if we get above 150 million in this green box, that is profit. And that would basically mean that at the current wrap value that the regular gift bags are at, you are making a profit by opening them. Now, keep in mind, even if we do make a profit, it will take pretty much forever to go ahead and sell all of those potions and all of those enchants. But if you are early in the game, then it might be worth it for you guys to go ahead and do that. So let's see the value of everything that we got and 196 million. So that's very good. So if we add this 196 million to the diamonds that we have in our inventory, we're going to get a total of 707 million, which is actually pretty good. That means we made about 40 to 50 million profit on the video. But as I said earlier, in order to get the majority of that profit, I would have to go ahead and sell a ton of this little stuff. So honestly, I'm not sure how much of a win this truly is. Now, honestly, I thought you got more profit and personally, I would probably just go ahead and try to sell these things for above wrap because a lot of times people will try to buy them. And if we did go ahead and sell everything that we got for its actual wrap value, we would have gotten an average of 3,500 diamonds for each of those regular gift bags. So honestly, as a time saver for you guys and a suggestion from this test, I would just tell you to sell these in the trading plaza for 3.5k because I think people would buy them for that price and it would save you a whole lot of time and if you could actually get above that that would be great but at this point i think the only logical reason for using these regular gift bags is if you do need the fruit for your mastery because they are actually super good it would take forever to find this amount of fruit in the trading plaza so by just going ahead and buying these small gift bags then you will get a ton of them for pretty much the current wrap value I don't want to yap for too much longer, so if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Discord will be down in the description below if you want to enter daily giveaways for Pet Simulator 99. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.